Hey guys, it's Tanner6946 here, and I'm back with episode 2 of the Forest Tutorial Let's Play. So, we're back in my tutorial world, obviously, and it is day 2. And in today's episode, I've done... I asked a few people off screen, and they said the best thing to do for day 2 is to go and get the Modern Axe and Katana. And that is exactly what we're going to do today. So first thing is, when you wake up, you're going to be low on everything. So eat, drink, all that good stuff. Uh, we'll continue building whenever we get back. But, for now, we are going to go get the modern axe. So you can drink all the sodas you want, eat all the candy bars you want, because we're going to have an abundance of them after this journey. So you're at your campsite, and essentially I'm going to show you how to locate these areas that we're going to. So first things first, before you leave, Go into your inventory, right click some cloth, right click some booze, and you're going to get a Molotov. And make all of these that you can, because you know why? You're going to need them. Molotovs are the best way to attack the bosses in this game, and unfortunately we are going to run into one of those bosses, and his name is Armsy. So, we're going to go exploring. So, because every base location may be different based upon where you chose to live, the best way to explain where the katana cave is, both both the modern, we're going after the modern axe and katana today, and both of those are located in caves. The first one is the katana, and the best way to explain on how to get to the katana cave is to essentially look at where the plane head is, not the body or tail or whatever. Look at the head of the plane, oh, and you want to swim, or well. Basically, the plane is going to point to where the katana cave is. Also, you might want to grab some of these suitcases just in case it's got some meds or beer in it. Candy bar. So, oh my god. Why are we out of energy? It takes a lot of energy to open one of these. Ooh, we got some batteries. That's also important. Because, oh yeah. We're going to get the katana, modern axe, and we will also be going after the torch, or the flashlight today. Depending on what you call it in whatever language you're in. Uh, oh, another beer. We'll make that. So, yeah, like I said, the flashlight will also be found in the... Hey, dear. In the katana cave. So, like I said, you see... Ooh, there's a cannibal off in the distance, if you all see that. He's gonna run along his merry way. It's also worth noting that this is a high cannibal traffic area, but the nose of this plane is going to point relatively close to the cave, so we're just going to follow it. Of course, I know where it is. It might take some searching around for you to do it, but for the most part, it's just going to be up here. Yep. Just follow this. I think it's a little bit to the left. But, yep, just follow the front of this plane, and once we get in there, I will basically guide you to the katana and there's going to be a few things that's going to be important to your success in doing this so the katana it should be up this hill right top of this hill it should be the katana cave yep right here okay so right up here just see so you see the head of the plane right there just follow along this hillside cliffside that's a lot of oh my gosh that's a lot of cannibals we're just going to go ahead and go in yeah, like I said, that's a high traffic area. So, I'm just going to go ahead and go down. Now we can gather our thoughts once we get down into the cave. So you just click E on the rope. Hopefully those cannibals will be gone by the time we're done. You're going to pop down in this room. This room is completely safe, believe it or not. <laughs> but um, you can gather the materials that are in here. There's a few skulls, bones, etc. A few, a little bit of cloth, a few more bones. You can go and grab all these. It's not that important to grab them. But, um, uh... In this other room is going to be Armsy. And we're going to ignore him. We're going to attempt to run past him. Um, before we do that, these are Timmy's drawings. So your son that you lost in the crash and was collected by that cannibal dude. These are drawings made by Timmy. Signaling that he's still alive. You got some crosses in jail, a broken toy, and what is... The other one? I don't even know. You can hear Armsy right there. That is Armsy. 
So, we're going to grab all these bones. Is that enough for armor? No, it is not. Oof. Got a little dark on us there. So, you climb this rope up. And like I said, Armsy is going to be up here. He's going to be off to the right. So you're going... He's over there. You just run straight forward to the left. Follow these wooden platforms here. And you just keep running. Run straight through. You'll run over here. Go in here. And you have successfully escaped Armsy. And once you get into here... Just keep following down the hallway. There's no other way to go. Might have to crouch once you get to here. Once you get into here, you are completely safe. Even though it doesn't sound like it, it's fine. Oh, look. You'll find some passengers here. And basically, you can collect all these watches. You can eat their food. You can eat their food, get their pills, get get the flare, grab all their mad dough and cash and then more booze more booze, you can light that fire if you feel the need to, grab this cloth you own this place now, they don't well I'm guessing the cannibals are probably going to own it more than you, you can eat a med just because you're addicted and grab the other meds more watches that you don't need <laughs> and the katana is located oh, I already picked it up the katana will be sticking inside this dude right here. Right into his left side. Just walk over to it and pick it up. I don't think they added cannibals in here. But it sure does sound suspicious. And I will probably pee my pants. If a cannibal jumps on us. So let's just go ahead and break open this wall over here. It's to the left. Once you break open this, there'll be booze and a torch. You just hit E, you'll pick it up. Let's get the torch out. And try to discover what that extremely scary noise was. Also, these boxes are filled with soda. So if you fear that first thirst is a problem, it's no longer a problem. I'll tell you that. Just go ahead and drink one so that you're full. Uh, I haven't been in here in a few updates, so whatever that noise is. Probably isn't a pleasant one. Hello. Who is making all these suspicious noises? I don't really care. So once you've got all this, you can leave this room. And, um, equip your katana. Armsy is going to be on the other side. You can do two things. You can A, run. Or B, you can fight him. Just in case he decides to target you and aggro you immediately, I'm going to take the fighting route. But I recommend to you fully that if you can just sprint out to the rope and leave, do that. Oh, we got full Molotovs. So, you equip it, light it, and then come on out, Armsy. Come on out, arms. Like, for example, I could leave. And I might end up, but I'll just show you. You throw it. Light him on fire. Light another one. He is stuck. He's going to become unstuck. So we're going to deal as much collateral damage as possible right now. Because when he gets unstuck, he's going to be fast. Very fast. He's got some cannibal buddies there. We should be worried about those. Crap. A katana. Equip the katana. You gotta be able to switch back and forth. See. So, um, let's also go over the techniques of fighting a cannibal. So, you want the block to shield, the, shield him. 
Swing, block. Let him attack first. Swing, block. There are multiple cannibals. Keep that in mind. And then again, we got to deal with Armsy. This is a, this is one of the harder combats in the game. It's definitely gonna get harder as the days go on. But for early game, this is of course pretty difficult. You just want to keep monitoring the situation. Make sure, because remember, we don't have armor or anything. See, now Armsy is now loose. And once this occurs, you're dead. <laughs> no. Like I said, they get stuck in the caves really easily now. Right now, but um, if he gets unstuck, that'll be very unfortunate. And Armsy's dead, just like that. You can go explore that cave if you want, but I'm not going to because I'm not an insane lunatic. We're going to leave now. So once, like I said, I recommend fully to you that you just sprint out of that cave and leave, but it's whatever. <laughs> if you want to go ahead and fight a bunch of cannibals, you go right ahead. So this torch can be used instead of the lighter. It's better than the that, but it has a battery percentage, and if you run out of batteries, you can just combine them. I'm not going to do that because batteries are limited. But whenever your flashlight dies, you can just combine it with batteries and then it'll redo it. So you just climb this rope back up and you can sprint up ropes, by the way, to get there faster. And next we're going to go after the modern axe. And that's all we're going to go after because right now we don't need the climbing axe, rusty axe, or rebreather or anything like that. Right now we're just going to build a base and I recommend you do this too. Is just get the katana and the um, modern axe. And eventually we will go after the rebreather and the climbing axe and maybe even the rusty axe if we feel like it. There's no need for it, but if we want to, sure, why not? <laughs> so after you exit this cave, where you want to, you're going to want to run north. So from this cave, just head, um, just head up north towards these snowy mountains, because that is, of course, north. Um, the Modern Axe Cave is the northernmost cave in the a in the map, so this cave, you, it, it's quite a walking distance, and it's, a, it's really the only thing up here, so, yeah, our base is, of course, just over that hill. Um, you'll get to know the area around your base a lot more, eventually. Trust me on that. <laughs> so, yeah, we're going to keep going. And I'll, of course, have shown on the screen where all of these are located on the map, relatively. You'll have to look for yourself. It's they're not They don't show up, obvious, or anything like that. So we're just going to keep going. Like I said, just keep going. Follow the, follow the lake shore. You're going to run out of energy. You walk, get back your energy, etc., etc. I'm not going to cut out because, essentially, I want you all to be able to see which way to go. You're gonna come up to the sinkhole. Just keep walking, don't get too far to the edge. You, you will fall in and you will die. It, it's happened to me before. It took me forever to get out of that thing. I luckily lived, but you probably won't be so lucky. So you're just gonna go keep going north of the sinkhole. Just follow this dirt path essentially until we come up to this bridge right about up here. It's a little land bridge in between the two lakes. And Jump over this log. If you just keep following this dirt path, you'll get up here. Uh, let's see, just because this is taking so long, I'm going to drink a soda so I can get some energy back. Um, so yeah, this land bridge right here. You can walk up to it. You'll just cross it. Once you cross it, it will essentially be to the cave. This cave doesn't require fighting any cannibals, I don't believe, unless it's been changed in recent patch updates. I don't think it has been. So yeah, you're just going to go across this bridge. I am, uh, my base in my single player world is actually way down that coastline and then up in the snowy mountain. I would not recommend living there, but it's a challenge, but it's, I, I love it, you know. I've played this game enough to where challenges are good. So... You're going to want to run straight from that land bridge, come up to this rock structure thing here, and this is where the modern axe is located, in this cave. This is cave 7. Hit E to climb through here. There's going to be a bunch of dead corpses. Don't worry. They're not harmful to you. They're just corpses. 
they're gonna be a lot of passengers a lot of coins and a lot of passengers just go ahead and check mark all these not all of them will be passengers but yeah yeah let's just say that they um uh they had some rough times hope you don't know any of them because they some uh they didn't end so well for them i'll just put it that way so you can just run past them don't you don't have to carry everything that they had there's nothing really important oh okay so there are cannibals Oof. i did not bring enough molotovs for this I didn't know there were cannibals. Here, take a leg. So, I think you can throw it from up here. Yep, there we go. No reason to fight a long range battle when you've got Molotovs. Just be careful not to fall down like I can. Oh, I missed. That's unfortunate because I don't have very many Molotovs. If you fall down, you're screwed. Speaking of. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. It really just did that to me. So, at this point... Okay, so I'm gonna have to just do a regular old fight of these fools. Hmm. Yeah, I don't have any. I'm gonna fall if I keep going. Well, I ran out of booze, so be careful with that. Uh, I can use a flare gun to do that. nothing it's whatever all right yep get out your katana you're gonna have to go down there there's three cannibals and um one armsy if you're not ready for this you of course don't have to go down there but I'm going to because I don't want the modern axe you can block on a lot of this they will fight each other so it's going to be a hectic battle. A very difficult one at that. Shielding is very suggested. Armsy will kill you in two hits. If you get them to fight, that's a good thing. You want them to fight. Fighting is a good thing for the cannibals to do in your, in your advantage. See that right there, that's, that's definitely not good. If you get low on health, you can go into your inventory very, very quickly and get some pills. Moving is suggested in this battle. Like I said, if you get the cannibals to fight, that's usually a good idea. That's not good for my health. I don't think he can hit me from there. Oh, he can. So like I said, there's nothing wrong with climbing up. Very quickly going into your inventory. Hey, getting a candy bar, a soda. Let you rejuvenate some health. Nothing wrong with that. If you feel, if you don't feel like you're ready for this battle, then don't do it. The cannibals themselves are going to be difficult to to take down. Like I said, this is definitely a difficult battle definitely a difficult one for, a ma for an axe. <laughs> Put it that way. So 
So you got one down. That's good. Like I said, Armsy's gonna be the most difficult one here. You can. These are the higher tiered cannibals too. Oh god. That wasn't good for my health. Oh good, Armsy broke that open for us. That's always good. It's always good to kill another cannibal. That's always good. They will mourn over their loved ones, but that's okay. We don't care that they have feelings. Okay, Armsy is down. That's good. Now you just have this last cannibal. Okay, so. That was a very easy bet. No. <laughs> Once you've killed that last cannibal, it's just three cannibals in Armsy. Once you do that, you're good. Armsy is the second most powerful boss in this game. So keep in mind, it's not an easy victory. Um, once you've done that, by the way, if you get that extra bone... Well, that's weird. I don't know why there was light. Once you get that extra bone, if you have six bones, six bones and three cloth can make bone armor. You can equip that, and that'll be helpful. So you just walk up to these, you chop at them. Uh, I don't know. Game, stop glitching. Uh, there we go. So yeah, there's definitely a few bones. There's nothing over here, by the way. But you can just walk over here. And then, once you get to this rope over here, you can, you can climb down or you can just jump down. It's quicker. And right here, you got some pills, some candy bar. And the modern axe is located right here. Once you have that, you have the modern axe. You have the katana. You should probably have a crafted axe just because. And then you'll have the plain axe. And you'll have all that we need to go build. So once you've done that, that's... All that you're going to want right now from this cave. If you want to come back at a later date, go right ahead, dude. But I'm not. There are definitely other things in this cave. Like, I think if we peek around the corner, there's usually something. I forgot. Anyways, yeah. I wouldn't recommend going any deeper in this cave. I'm pretty sure there's some pretty powerful, pretty powerful things. Oh, we went the wrong way. Dang it. <laughs> But yeah, so, just grab the modern axe, we can get out of here, and, where's our hull at, it's over here, and you can walk past, past the defeated corpse of Armsy and his three delin delinquents here, and climb out of here, and that's, that's essentially how you get the flashlight, modern axe, and katana. That was probably the most horrible tutorial for this ever, just because of the fact that I forgot that there was, um, Armsy and three of those fools in there. Right, yeah, we're gonna steal from the dead, because we deserve it at this point. Gosh, that was a difficult battle. Okay, so. Oh, it's nighttime. So now we're just gonna head back to our base. So, if you, um, uh. See, we should probably get back to our base first. You're probably going to run into some cannibals out here, too. So just keep that in mind. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.
So here we are home. You can probably sleep again by now. After your long and harsh journey of fighting two armsies on day two. Not a great tutorial making you fight that many. So you want to say, well actually, cancel. You want to sleep. And then you want to save. And then we'll be in day three. So yeah. Thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe if you all enjoyed this. This, if you have any questions or helpful comments to this, like I had one that told me how to craft a rope last episode, which oh, I should mention, you can do that with. He said it was yeah, five cloth. Look at that. You can craft rope. I didn't know that. So um, uh, yeah. Thanks for that suggestion. If you all have any more, just let me know. That's gonna do it for this episode. Like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you all in the next one. Bye.